This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, slightly late Jimmy here and welcome back to a set of Corsa for another video. Now the reason why I say slightly late, which is very hard to say when you are a lispy boy, is that today I'm going to be trying to beat the pole lap from the Red Bull Ring. Uh, reason why it's out of order with the Silverstone and other laps is because I was on holiday when this happened, so didn't really have a chance to do it. So after checking the qualifying results, I discovered, much to my surprise, that Valtteri Bottas actually took pole position here on a 1 minute 3.130. It's absolutely insane to think they're only three seconds away from a sub one minute lap around here. Now, I want to just very quickly address something that I've been getting a lot of flack for in these videos, and that is for not using the new third DRS zone at some of the circuits. And the reason why I didn't use it in previous videos is because the circuit only allows two usage or two zones for DRS. I can't physically use DRS if the track doesn't let me. Lucky for us, a friend of mine named Sam took some time out of his day to put in the third DRS zone for us, meaning that we now have a proper accurate track and hopefully that allows to get a bit closer to the pole time but it is vr time so let's see how close we can get to or maybe even beat valtteri bottas's pole lap time here at the red bull ring so for the first time this season we are inside valtteri bottas's car here at the red bull ring let's make our way onto the circuit and just see about where we stand now time to beat is a 103.130 so pretty damn quick just I'll very quickly say, as I always do at the start, the tyres that you can see right now do not reflect the tyres that I'm actually on. I'm actually on the Ultra Soft Compound, which is a compound used for qualifying in this race. And away we go then, up the hill. It's actually my first time driving at the Red Bull Ring in VR, and you really get a sense of elevation here. Wow, coming up here to T2. I guess it's technically T3. Wow, big break. Lock up there on the brakes as our... DRS zone, so we'll just use that, get into muscle memory of using it. Setup I've got is a very rough setup right now of what I expect to see around here. A little bit less wing than usual, of course, with the three DRS zones, we can sort of get away with running a little bit more wing for this mid section here, which is a, a couple of quite fast left hands that do rely quite heavily on downforce. As you can see, wow, getting loose there on the kerb. Bring it back in. And on the front of these curves can be quite slippy at times, so I've got to be careful of them. For the first lap, I'm not going to be boosting properly, just going to do a sort of uh, a banker lap to see where we stand. Wow, last corners here are fast. So, last corner, look for our DRS board on the right, there it is, open DRS. Right, let's see what we can do around here, shall we? Up into eighth gear, now breaking up here, we can break a bit later than normal because gravity is on our side. A bit slow into T1 there, but just want to get through in one piece this time. Again, DRS open all the way up the hill here, making a late shift to eight just to try and keep some revs. Wow, very late on the brakes there, so brake bias he's looking at. A bit further back, I think. DRS open and over rev just to compensate. <laughs> it's like when you stall in a road car and you rev really, uh, rev really high when you pull away to overcompensate for the fact you just stalled. Anyway, let's not get into that midsection now. I'm going to try and stay off the kerb a little bit. It seems the car doesn't really like it too much. There you go. It's better. Back on the throttle. You can use the outside kerb. It's not the inside one. Easy through here. Car wants to spin if it's not careful. Now for the last couple of corners. These corners are great to watch in real life. The cars go so quickly through here. I can only imagine the G-force. So that's our first lap done. We're already uh, uh, gone past the 103. This is going to be a 108.7. So as usual, that doesn't bode too well for us. We are currently five seconds off the time. So a couple of setup tweaks. I think I think I'm actually going to go for more downforce for the mid section. I'm feeling a little bit uh, ropey through there. Usually I'd say take off downforce for this circuit because of the long straights, but DRS sort of makes up for that. So right, okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, so more aggressive ERS setting now. DRS open, let's try for a different lap. Couple of setup changes, just a bit more aggressive all, all round really. A bit more downforce like I mentioned, just for the midsection. Scary over there, DRS open immediately. Now we're going to lose a little bit of time on the straight here because of the more downforce, not too much. So again, DRS helping us out there. Oh, very late on the brake set, but just about got it in. Definitely have to break it a little bit earlier next time, I think, just for a smoother exit. That was just on the limit of what was okay, really. 
really using those brakes. Ah, I just wish I had a bit more torque in the lower end on this mod. It's really frustrating to bog out of there every time. Now, downforce, what you got? Oh, a bit too fast on entry. The car slid at the front, had to wait for it to sort itself out. There we go. Again, just wanting a little bit more torque low down. So, better lap low so far. Already nearly two seconds up. In on the power straight away. Nice. DRS open. And that's going to bring us down quite a bit. Brings us down to 106.659. So, we are now three seconds away as opposed to five, which is a big improvement, of course, but still a good chunk to find. So I think this setup's got a bit more in it, so I'm going to go run another lap with it, and then we'll come back and see what is what. Here we go, one more go on this setup. I think we can be more aggressive at T1. T2 is an area for me to work on. Carried a lot more speed that time. Four tenths up there. God damn it, the exit's hard there. I had to go down the first gear to get the car working. We just have no torque, it seems, in the lower RPM in this car. I think it's the fault of the mod, though, more than anything else. Really on the edge of what this setup can offer right now, I think. Get off the curb, Jimmy. Oh, well, back on power. Be brave. Use the lower gear there to try and get a bit more speed. Now, we were pretty quick through here on our last lap. A bit wide. A little bit cheeky for the last couple of corners there. It's going to be a bit quicker, but not too much. It's going to be a 106.2. So we're now underneath three seconds off the time, but with only two laps left to run, it's not looking too hot. So back to the pits. We'll see if we can uh, shave off any more time. So just making the way on track now for our fourth flying lap. Now, a lot of people tend to ask me what I do in the pit lane when I uh, make setup choices and setup changes. Uh, basically, this time around, I've just taken a little bit more down... Well, that's, no, that's a lie. I've put a bit more downforce on to really try and maximise our speed through the middle sector. I've played with the dip a little bit around here. I've also lowered the ride height because it's quite a flat circuit. So I'm hoping to try and get a little bit more top speed on the straights and just make the aero work a little bit better. Just stuff like that. They're only very slight changes, but if they can help me be more confident in the car, then hopefully that will translate to better lap time. But anyway, I will meet you at the start-finish line and we'll see if these changes are any good. Going through the gears so fast there. Maybe a bit faster. Well, we've gone into the 105, the 105.767. Really, I'm trying my best around here. I just don't seem to have the speed around some of the more modern circuits at the moment, or the most recent circuits in the series, I should say. I just don't have the same speed as those guys. Oh, well, I'm not surprised really. They're blooming F1 drivers. I'm just a guy living in a bloody shed. Um, so what I'm going to do now is essentially just cheat, put on the fastest tyres, really make the car as fast as possible, not quite in aligning with what they would have had in the session, and just see how close we can get now, just for a bit of fun.
going to be a big improvement at least. 105.170, still two seconds off the glorious Valtteri Fottas. But not quite, uh, not quite close enough really to be anywhere near challenging that pole time. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That's always fun to do, but whew, I always feel tired over those, after those fast laps. Full concentration there. I think I forget to breathe sometimes. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the old like button. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe to be notified of future videos. And of course, you can hit that bell notification icon. That way you get a notification whenever a new video comes up or I stream, which is win-win. Again, massive thanks to my sponsors and patrons. You are good boys. And sorry that this video was a little bit late and a little bit out of order. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.